my channel, I'm Online Mermaid, and today we are doing another DIY. Oh! Yay! It's a little bit of a different one. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope it is successful because I've never done this before. As most DIYs are, do it yourself, it'd be fine, but mmm. Mmm, not me. I just want to apologise for this lighting. I'm a very white person and white people in the sun literally look like some form of snowman that's meant to be human, but I swear we're human and I just want to apologise for that, but what can you do? Anyway, we are doing another simple DIY. Basically today, what's going to be involved is hand sewing, cutting fabric and also having some fun <laughs> for this DIY you can use any kind of piece of clothing that's why it's a very broad DIY you can use this for dresses t-shirts singlets pants I know what else people wear out there beanies what we are doing today is we are putting more fabric into a piece of clothing because it doesn't fit me anymore this dress has been my lifelong favorite dress I've always loved it, but now when I put it on, it literally doesn't get past and my boobs because my bazongas came through and my hips. And puberty likes to hit you hard, guys. Yes, yes. All them kids out there, be prepared for puberty. It's not fun, not fun at all. And so this is the front of the dress, as you can see. It's got a little bit of a slope there. And this is the back of the dress. So basically in this, we are gonna actually cut down the back and we're going to do a massive V, a nice pretty V and we're going to be putting some form of fabric, it doesn't really matter what fabric you use, it's kind of to your own preference with what you think would go with the current fabric that you are having and we are just going to hand sew it on. If you have a sewing machine, <coughs> lucky you, I can't be bothered to set up mine so I'm just going to hand sew it. Even though it'd be a lot quicker to sew it on a sewing machine. I'm just really lazy, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what you need for this video today. Obviously, you're gonna need some form of garment of anything you have that you want to be a little bit bigger when you wear it. And so I've chosen a dress. You can choose whatever you want and follow along with the video. You will need a ruler because you want your lines hella accurate and sharp. Need a fabric pencil um, just in case you want to put some extra eyeliner on your eyes. No, 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 no. Don't use that for that. No. Because you're going to want to mark where you want to cut it before you cut it. We ain't going to go freehanding these days, guys, because uh, that's a bit dangerous. <laughs> Not about that life. Um, if you don't have a fabric pencil, that is fine. Just use a normal pencil, it does the job just as well. You're gonna need those bad boys. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute. Are they like lollipops for ants? No, they are not. I wish, I wish. No, these are pins. We're gonna pin your new fabric to your old fabric. If you don't have pins, you can probably use safety pins or you can probably use staplers if you want it if you want to just do it just do it use use staplers you know I, I don't i'm not judging i'd probably use staplers all of this stuff is from my mum's sewing kit <laughs> you're gonna want some chomp chomps these chompy chomps are actual fabric scissors because i think i said in my last DIY video get some fabric scissors and i <laughs> passed Hanley. <laughs> i did <laughs> And we are going to need some thread. Now, it's any colour thread that's actually the colour of your fabric. We're going to need that bad boy. You're going to need, it, it's actually a sewing needle. <laughs> and we use it to put two of our fabrics together. It's like the main important thing. And you're going to need that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Another thing you're going to need is your extra fabric. Now, this can be anything you want. I don't know, just choose a goddamn fabric. Oh my god. I went to my fabric shop. And I got some beautiful lace because it will look really pretty in the back of my dress. And I thought, hey, that's a sexy touch you got there. Ow! Look how much I got. You're, you're going to be absolutely gobsmacked how much I paid for it. That's like at least two meters. Two meters. At least two meters. 
guess how much I paid for it? Fifty cents! What? Fifty cents? Oh my god! Fifty cents? Fifty cents? For fifty cents, I could wear this as my wedding dress. Oh! That's like the best price ever. And this is flipping lace. Lace is so expensive. So first thing I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> I'm stuck. Help, somebody. I just broke the zipper. No, it's not okay. I need to undo that zipper before it breaks. That zipper was meant to be my life. No, <laughs> I can't take it off. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? You can't really see me struggling here, but I really am struggling a lot. I can't get this thing off of me. I keep ripping them. So I broke the zipper <laughs> and I made an extra rip to the dress. First thing is first, what we do is you're gonna have to turn your, your dress, your shirt, your pants inside out. So turn it to the place where you're actually ruling the lines make sure everything is all good what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna pin my zipper together so i don't inaccurately measure okay so that's done then i need your pencil i would suggest if you are doing this to measure how much fabric you do need a good estimate is probably about 50 centimeters to 50 centimeters so like 50 that way 50 that way i'm gonna rule about 20 centimeters from the top of the back of the dress downwards on both sides see I'm literally just doing it freestyles and draw it didn't take any measurements I've literally just made it up as I go probably gonna get a lot of people thinking oh my god just buy a new dress I know I know it's time to get creative people um, I do want to just do a V down the back so it's actually quite pretty not just two squares no I want to do a V so just make sure each end marks up well and it does, oh! Yeah, so five, yeah. You've got these two here, and then your line, you just draw it straight down, but you keep going past the lines where you stopped. And then you got it, you got a bit of a bay. Stunning, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I think we're ready to cut. Just make sure you're not cutting this so make sure you're only cutting one layer of fabric, not two. Oh my god, I've done that before. So once you've done that, you get your extra fabric. I think I'm just gonna cut out just all of that, all of that. Don't move, oh my god, this is really hard. Just start in the middle of the fabric. Whoop. So I always overcut people, I will always overcut. I'm gonna put about 30 centimeters in the back. So 30 centimeters across in the back and then down it'll be 20 centimeters as we ruled before. But we're also adding the V so that's just a little bit more. Now you can just cut out 30 centimeters but you do need to add 1.5 centimeters on each side. So that results to, let's do math. That's 33 centimeters got to make sure that you do it on the wrong side of your fabric as well see I'm not even cutting straight and you're probably judging me for my cutting like, I think that's pretty lace oh. next what we do is we cut this fabric put your fabric that you're actually using over it and you can clearly see yeah look the bee's gonna be shorter because I cut too much <laughs> I really irritate myself sometimes. Let's go back in time, baby. Oh my god. These scissors are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to cut more. <sighs> the lady who sold it to me is gonna be thinking, yo twat, yo can't even use this, this lace properly. You're yeah, useless! I have a feeling this is gonna not turn out the way I want. Oh well. So we have cut out the back of our dress. And I just thought of a brilliant idea. 
You don't need to add any fabric in the back of your dress. Come on, come on, why did I think of that? No, seriously, Jesus, why do you know? Why don't you pop that one into my head, hey? Literally, just use that as a choker. I'm actually really excited to see how it's going to turn out. But at the same time, I'm a bit like, <laughs> you are not meant to do this. <laughs> you are not designed to do DIY. You are not designed to do anything. But never let people tell you what you can and can't do because you can do anything you want to do. Use your pin and pin your new fabric to your old fabric. Now it's not too hard to do. You literally just stick the pin in, join them together and stick it back up into the air. So that literally just took me like three minutes to pin everything together. One thing with pinning, make sure you don't pin both um, fabrics, like the front and the back. You're only pinning the back to the new fabric. Just cut off the excess. You, you have just like my, I've always got some excess going on. Don't cut too close just in case you stuff up and <laughs> you're like, my hello, hello. If you stuff up a lot, hi, welcome, let's be friends. Now, I think this is the worst part, and I think a lot of people won't do these kind of things because of this part, and that is literally just sewing it all together. See, so all this thread looks like a spider web. You get about mm, 60 centimeters worth. Listen up, this is the key part. We're going to make a knot. So, the aim is you want about three or four knots on top of each other, just so it's quite thick. All right, so once you have your knot, you've got to have the knot at the end, not like smack bam in the middle, people. So now we're going to thread our thread through the little hole on your needle. This is the end here. That's the end, as you can see. Make sure you always have a little bit more than the actual thread. Just, just do it this way, please. Just do it this way. I shouldn't have to explain myself all the time. So make sure you don't sew the back to the front. You're going to really hate life if you do that. Not kidding, because you're going to have to unpick it. And all you sewing ladies and men out there, you know unpicking is the worst bloody thing to do. When you're sewing, you get rid of the pin after you've sewn it. Don't sew the pins in with it. So with this, you pinch your fabric. Both of them need to be held together. Just put it through, thread it through simply like that. Just put it all the way through until the knot hits it. And then come back through the other side, through that side, and we're just going to do a simple, really, really simple stitch, because this is DIY, and if you're going to do it yourself, it's got to be simple, people. Now, this will take a lot longer, because clearly <laughs> it's sewing. I mean, you can just do this by just stapling it all together, and then you're done. It's the final countdown. So if you're doing, if you have lace like me, um, you might have to do a couple of stitches and you might have to go over it twice so it's a lot more secure. I know you guys can't see this, sorry. But it is just basic hand sewing. It's not too hard to do. I think the motto that everyone, everyone needs to actually think about is if I can do it, you can do it. And I really can't do much stuff, so. So I've just finished and now I'm going to cut that part. We ain't gonna turn this bad boy inside out. We're gonna try it on. <sighs> and we're gonna either laugh at my failure or be like, damn girl, you did well. And we are going to try it on. Oh my God. Mind the bra. But whoa. It worked so well. I am proud. I am proud. But now I have this really cool lace 
legacy back and it looks really pretty. That is awesome. Wow, I am so happy with how that turned out. Now I got another outfit to wear. Oh, yeah, 100%. Do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Works really well. It's gonna, t it does. I will be honest, it, it takes about an hour to do, which is kind of like, <sighs> really? But it's totally worth it because, hey, I got to keep my old dress. Really quick, it's quite easy to do. It's just time consuming. Just listen to some tunes. Just watch some TV. Yay! I did another well accomplished DIY. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, which is fine because I was expecting like a massive cool V, but it still looks awesome and it works so well. I'm so happy. The theater is too. Everybody looks comfortable fighting. Yeah, yeah. If that is all I have for you guys today, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it wasn't as funny as I always are. But I made an awesome dress and I know you guys can too because it's easy, it's simple and you can do it yourself. Woo! Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe because I'll be posting a lot more. I'm Online Mermaid and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! I'm blue, I've been need, I've been